I'm Karen Yu, and I am with the University Engineering Department, specifically uh, Division E Manufacturing. Um, and I guess my PhD is in uh, photonic, uh, using photonics for precision manufacturing. The fun part is I get to play around with lasers, and I get to shoot things and blow things up, and just hit go, and then a nice big hole comes out of it. Uh, can make uh, random shapes. We can make trenches. So. Uh, as random shooting aside, uh, we uh, are looking at applications like uh, waveguides, uh, microfluidic uh, channels for lab-on-chip devices, uh, and other things on that kind of scale. I guess when I was younger, I was always a bit interested in it, science in general. Um, and then I started reading a lot of science fiction books. Probably one of the first books that probably ha started me off on the whole tr track was the novelization of Star Wars, uh, the original, so episode four, uh, so the novelization of the movie. Um, I hadn't seen any of the movies at that point, um, and I read the books, and we didn't have a VCR at that time, so I couldn't see the movies, so the only thing I had left was to find the rest of the books. I understand, like, there's a lot on Earth that we still have to go and see, but there's just something um, cowboyish and uh, something uh, amazing about going out to the stars and beyond here and visiting other planets and meeting completely different uh, sentient species or whatever and the idea of just uh, exploring such a uh, well, large uh, universe that, that we have. The cars that we have, the planes that we have uh, can't go that fast, right? Uh, the space shuttles can't really take us there um, and the spaceships in uh, all these sci-fi books were really what uh, allowed us to do all these magnificent, magnificent things. Um, and so for the longest time, I wanted to go and like build a fusion reactor so that we might be able to explore the stars in my lifetime, you know? But I didn't want to be sitting there writing equations or just doing simulations on the computer. And I actually want to go and build some of the things that uh, I wanted to, maybe not the fusion reactor uh, anymore, but um, whatever I was designing and st uh, stuff, I want to go and uh, uh, actually build and prototype them and maybe make something of them. Lasers are, have been around since the 50s, 60s, but they're prevalent in Star Wars and uh, blowing things up, um, uh, and in most sci-fis. I'm, I'm using a bit more constructively, but you know, playing around with lasers is definitely <laughs> I'd say, uh, well, it's the turned, it's the l slightly lowered expectation from inventing a fusion drive all by myself. <laughs> Thinking back to uh, when I was younger and reading the books, I think uh, I would think what I'm doing now is quite awesome. I'm still playing with lasers, and um, I'm still hoping that one day I'll, maybe I can make a lightsaber of some kind. <laughs>